What's going on guys, GC Boxing here. Um, if you're new to the channel and you wanna know more about me, you can check out my Instagram, at GC Boxing. Uh, if you're from my Instagram, coming to the YouTube, thank you guys so much for supporting me so far and let's get on with the video. So what YouTube's gonna allow me to do is get more in depth with my breakdowns and technical breakdowns on how to do certain things so my tutorials can be more detailed and tailored to you guys. Um, that Instagram can't offer in a short 30 second to one minute clip. Today's video, this week, we're gonna be talking about the boxing stance. We're gonna do a very in-depth, detailed breakdown on how we wanna be in our boxing stance and why we want to stay in our stance for the most part of boxing. So in boxing, it's all gonna start in your boxing stance. A good stance will take you much farther. You wanna have a great foundation. That's where your balance is going to come from and how you're gonna actually be able to strike efficiently, effectively, and defend yourself and remain balanced and transfer your weight correctly through all your punches. So a good boxing stance is gonna start from our feet. What we wanna do if you're right-handed is take your right leg and we're gonna stagger it. If you're, if you're left-handed, you can take your left leg and stagger it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my right leg, I'm gonna stagger my stance out to the side and I'm gonna have my feet at about shoulder width apart. So now with my feet in this position, you'll notice there's a line running down the middle of my stance. Wherever you are learning from, I want you to find a line on the ground so you can create the separation. My left leg on that left side of the line, my right leg on the right side of the line. Now, everybody's bodies are a little different, so where you comfortably place your feet is gonna be a little bit more up to you, but generally you want your feet in kind of the same direction. You don't want your feet kind of in awkward places when you're in your boxing stance. So if you find your balance feels off, maybe Play with your foot position to see where you want them to be. Now along with my foot positioning and where my feet are placed, you're going to notice that my hips are turned and at an angle as well. This is very important in boxing. You don't want to be squared up to your target. This is called being squared up where my shoulders are flat facing forward and I'm a huge target. What I want to do is have my hips turned this way. Now while our hips are turned this way, I'm gonna keep my head facing forward, the lead shoulder and the lead hand. So my left hand is gonna be facing my target. Now my back shoulder and my back hand, that's where I'm gonna place a little bit more of my weight. So I'm gonna put my weight a little bit on the back leg. So I kind of shift back a little bit. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause my left shoulder to kind of raise up. And now we're almost getting into our fighting stance. So from here you can see my weight slightly shifted back on that back leg. Okay, I wanna say a little bit of my weight's back there. Then I wanna have my hands high, elbows tucked in. Now we're gonna tuck our chin down and hinge our hips a little bit. So now I'm really seated into this boxing stance. Now you can tell that I'm ready to go. Now the purpose of a boxing stance is, one, obviously you wanna have your balance and be in a good position to punch and defend efficiently. But two, we wanna be a small target. Right? I want to close off all the openings I would have if I wasn't in a boxing stance or if I was in a more open position. Right? I have a lot of targets here. If I'm in my boxing stance, I'm closing off the openings, making it harder for my opponent to reach me. And with the weight on the back leg, it's going to allow me to be the furthest distance from the target in front of me as opposed to being in more of a this aggressive position. Now, like I said, a lot of different styles in boxing. So some stances are a little more forward. Some are a little more squared. Ours is here. We prefer to box from the back. Some of the benefits of being in this stance where we're seated a little further back. One, like I said, we're a little further from the target so we can kind of see everything our opponent does. But two, we have more access to our power hand. So our power hand is the hand in the back. So having my weight here already locked and loaded while I'm moving in my stance, gives me the opportunity to fire from, that, from my weight being planted there already. So I can throw a good clean power shot from the back every single time, as opposed to being in this position and maybe having to wind up for extra power. We're already loaded in our stance. Now, equally as important as our boxing stance is actually remaining in our stance. I've talked about this a little bit before in my Instagram, but I'm gonna talk about it now. So when you guys are in your boxing stance, I see it a lot where people throw their punches and they finish their punch on the bags or on the pads and they go to walk it off, right? They walk off their boxing stance. 
don't break your stance. I want you guys to maintain your boxing stance as much as possible throughout your training. So when you're shadow boxing, after you finish your combination, stay in your boxing stance and get back to work. Same on the bag, same on the pads. Practice how you would fight. If you practice punching, you finish a combination and you walk off, then you're gonna be doing that as a bad habit in your fights or your sparring. So just make sure you practice remaining in your stance as much as possible. The more we're in our stance, the less open we are. The more we start walking around, the more we give our opponent opportunities to capitalize on. Thank you guys for watching. That's this week's video. I hate outros. Like, we should just put this in. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Share with me the feedback you guys have too because this is my first YouTube video and I'm just starting out in the YouTube game. So any feedback is appreciated. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.